Alrighty boys, so we are back on some more Bloon Tower Defense Battles 2. And so in this video today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys the strategy here that I have currently been using uh, to get me all the way up into ZOMG Superdome. Now, before I do get into the strategy though and into our ranked games, I do want to say that we are currently taking in members for the clan. Uh, we are at 13 out of 25. So essentially what happened is the last clan war that we had, uh, basically anybody that did not play a single game, I just went in and removed them because we've kind of been running into an issue where we only have like five or six people playing in the clan wars so if you guys do want to join in uh, all you have to do is just search gaming and gaining and if you guys do request to join in just make sure you leave a comment down below just because i am going to prioritize any of the comments uh, over anybody else and then really with it the only criteria is just play games okay i don't care if you're good i don't care if you're bad i don't care if you win i don't care if you lose i just want people to actually be playing games because we are currently in the ruby division and we only need one more like division bump to be in the highest uh clan division so that's kind of the goal that i'm trying to shoot for so again if you do want to join all you have to do is to search gaming and gaining let me know in the comments down below and i will accept every single person that i possibly can like i said i don't care if you win or if you lose you can play in the lowest division arenas if you want to as long as you're just playing games uh that's all i care about so with that said i'm gonna go ahead jump into our first ranked game here and the strategy that we're gonna be using is going to actually be the tack shooter i'm gonna be using gwendolyn the ice monkey and the mortar monkey so without further ado i'll explain a little bit more as soon as we start our first game here all right boys so here we are game number one we got a really good map for this too actually uh so i'm gonna go ahead and get gwendolyn down right away and then next up we're gonna go ahead and throw down our uh spike factory here our attack shooter i always call this a spike factory i don't know why for whatever reason my brain always gets them mixed up now but i gotta turn my volume down just a little bit here a little bit louder all right perfect all right so it looks like we're going up against uh yucky chips just quite the interesting name i will say though there are definitely some chips out there that are quite yucky oh uh, yeah so from here all we're gonna do is just group eco and essentially this tax shooter here is going to carry us for quite a while and with the strategy like i said tax shooter is going to carry us through the early game rounds the mortar is going to be our main camo detection and then we're gonna have the ice monkey down is really just a little bit of insurance uh if need be if we absolutely have to and we do end up going to like round 26 or something what we're gonna end up doing is likely going in for the icicle impale with the ice monkey because that is going to help us out a ton uh, let me go ahead and go for the faster shooting maybe the longer range here too uh if we end up leaking some lives here that's okay uh, i don't really mind too much if we leak uh, but from here i actually want to send i want to send some pinks to my opponent here so i'm not going to group eagle the whole time just because i want to save up for as much money as i can just to make sure we can send as many green balloons as we can uh, on round five. So that is going to be our goal here. So if I would have upgraded my tax shooter a little bit earlier, we actually might have been okay. Not sure. All right, let me go ahead and go for the super range here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to go for a 2 2 0. I thought I had that, but I did not. So now, next round, we're going to go ahead and we're going to eco into our green balloons. Yeah, it looks like my opponent's just straight chilling with a wizard monkey. So I think he's going to be more than okay. He's been group egoing for quite a while here as well. And I think as long as he continuously sends us greens, I actually think we're going to be okay. Uh, I might actually send him a couple whites just to see if I can potentially force an upgrade, but I don't think I can. I think he's going to be perfectly fine with that uh, wall of fire there. And he really hasn't leaked like that many lives either, so... Yeah, he's straight chilling. Uh, so we're going to continue sending our green balloons here just because we have the money for it. And I'm going to switch into my blade shooter now, which actually I probably didn't even have to go for the blade shooter right away. I could have used Gwendolyn's level three just to greed a tiny bit more, but I think we're still okay here. I haven't played this game in a couple of days, so uh, I did do a stream on Saturday. So if you guys did tune in for the stream, thank you very much for tuning into that. So that was a lot of fun, uh, but that was the last time I played. So I was gone for the weekend and it might take me a game or two to uh, just kind of jump back into it here i'm not sure why he's not sending me grouped yellows here which is kind of interesting i'm assuming he's going with an ego strategy uh though he does have the engineer monkey down so he could potentially be going in for a uh what is it called oh, i do not want to send purples he could be going for a balloon trap possibly so that is all good uh we might actually get a purple to leak here it looks like we did maybe maybe not i can't really tell oh uh, yeah it is it is the uh it is the new year so i hope everybody had a fantastic new year hope you all did something fun and enjoyed your time maybe spent it with family or friends or whatever i had a pretty chill new year uh it wasn't anything like crazy but uh, it was a lot of fun so okay we're coming up to round 10 here so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get my mortar down actually we're gonna smack it right here in the middle I'm going to go for the middle path upgrade here first. Actually, I'm going to go for the Bernie stuff as well. And 
I do want to make sure we've got a little bit of money for some insurance here. Uh, where is my Gwendolyn? Okay, so my Gwendolyn ability is over here. If he all outs me with purples, we should be okay. We should be okay. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and go for the signal flare so we can get our camo detection. Perfect, perfect. And then we should also be sending space or rainbows here. Uh, I do want to get an ice monkey down though. Again, just as kind of like some insurance here. So I might go ahead and plop that right here. Beautiful. And I think we're okay. Oh, we leaked a little bit. Probably didn't necessarily have to boost that, but we did end up going for it either way. Uh, we should be fine here still, too. I don't know why my ice is... Oh, no, it's because I didn't go for that. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, all good. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep this here, actually. And then we're just going to go for the icicles, I think. I'm going to go for the top path icicles here as well. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then another thing what I can do probably is I'm going to get another attack shooter down up front here. And then this can be an eventual overdrive just because we don't have like the greatest Moab defense in the entire world. Then I'm also going to have to go for a hot shots too, just because we need something to pop our uh, ice balloons here. So right now we're in a pretty chill spot. Uh, I do want to be ecoing with yellows here though. And I think as soon as round 17 comes, I'm definitely, uh, maybe we won't send him a Moab. I think he'll be fine with against a Moab here. He's in a pretty good spot right now though, uh, because I'm sure his last monkey is going to be the super monkey, which kind of sucks for us because he's going to have some really good late game potential and he has the life advantage on us. So that's not too good. So I might actually, I might send him like two fortified Moabs here coming up pretty soon. I think that might be the play. Okay, so he's definitely going to be sending us one. Oh, we don't have enough for this. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, all good there, all good there, perfect. Okay, that was actually a little bit scary. I do want to go for the overdrive here, though, and definitely a ring of fire here. So that's going to be like our main mob defense right there, which we should be fine with that. Uh, I do want to keep sending with pinks, though. Got to make sure we have an eco lead over him, which I actually don't think we do currently. So what we'll do here next, send him a fortified BFB. Definitely going to force an upgrade for at least his super monkey here. We're either going to force the super monkey or actually let me send him a fortified Moab too. We might even end up forcing the... Uh, Dragon's Breath as well. He might get uh, another wizard down. He might. Not sure. And actually might even top some purples here too. Use level 3 ability. Okay, all good, all good. Well played, sir. Well played. Uh, I do want to keep up with the purples here just because, again, I need to... I need to boost my eco higher than him. So I'm not necessarily trying to kill him with the purples here. Uh, but I am trying to get my eco as high as possible. And then I might even go for another mortar. Let me actually set this to follow mouse. All right, so I am going to have to start saving up for the ice and pale here for sure. So hopefully we do have enough for that. How much selling power do I have? Not very much. I definitely could sell this. Okay, so if we don't have enough for ice skull and pale, we should still be okay. All right, so we have enough for the ice skull and pale. So we can definitely... I'm going to continue to eco here. We'll maybe push for like 4,000-ish on our eco. Oh, he sent me a heart ceramic rush there. That was interesting. All right, so I'm going to chill here, 4,000. We're going to save up for Ice Gold and Pale, then I'm definitely going to be sending him a, um, a, B -B or a BAD as soon as we can. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to pop down a BAD, to be honest. I have no idea here. Let's hope and pray we got this off before he did. with our bloom boost ours is just a tiny tiny bit ahead of him did we get him did we get him did we get him please let's go Ooh, that was close Wow, I'm sorry, Yucky Chips. Dude, he was a good-ass player, too. Top 25. GG's, buddy. GG's. Ooh, that was kind of... That was nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, anytime you come up against Super Monkey like that late game, dude, I, like, shake with fear because... 
I'm surprised he didn't uh, even potentially go for like a, oh, what is it called? The triple XL balloon trap there. That could have swallowed the uh, the DBTs for him. But okay, got to win our first try here. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump into another ranked game. We're at 90 trophies. We're going to see if we can keep this going. All right, so here we are next game. And we're currently on around nine. And I'm going to be setting my mortar monkey down. We're going to get the targeting right there. We're going to go for our faster reload. Perfect, perfect. We're actually playing against the exact same player. So again, this is a really, really good player. So we do have to play this uh, quite well here. Not going to lie. Um, and then I also think what I'm going to do is go for... I don't have enough of a cryo freeze just yet. Our cryo cannon. There we go. Perfect. We're going to go for our signal flare too. Nice. I'm going to send some rainbows here next. We should be in a pretty decent spot here now. He still, I don't believe, has camo detection. Oh, no, he does. Just kidding. He's got a... Uh, he has a second sub down. I did not see the second sub. Uh, if he sends me a massive rush here, though, what we can do is just use Gwendolyn's ability. And we should be okay with that. Yeah, looks like we're still doing just fine here. That was a pretty heavy-ish AI round, too. So I think we're okay. Uh, he looked like he was having some issues there against the uh, lead balloons for a hot sec. But I think he's okay. He did leak some lives. He leaked kind of a lot, actually. Holy crap. Uh, he also stopped ecoing me. So I think what I'm going to do is just save up and go right in for our ice skulls here. I'm going to wait and see if he rushes me, though. Nope, does not look like he's going to. Okay. Uh, I think he's going for a balloon trap now. Yes, he is. Okay. That's why he stopped ecoing. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so I don't actually know if I like this uh, ice spot, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send some rainbows here. Use this. We should be fine. He might be dead. He might be dead. He might be dead. He might be dead. Let's go. Good game, buddy. Good game. Good game. I'm sorry. I don't know why he deleted the one sub. He had like no defense down there. That was... I don't know if he thought his <laughs> engineer was going to be able to like hold him over for that whole entire time. All right, boys. So here we are in our next game. And this strategy is going to be a little bit different. So uh, I'm actually going to be using Churchill on this one. So uh, no Gwendolyn. And then I end up swapping my tack shooter out for a boomerang, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we are going to tank a ton of lives here, though. So let me go ahead and get Churchill down as quick as I can. Perfect. And then the eco strategy is pretty much going to be the exact same. Uh, Churchill is going to be able to carry me for quite a while here. Uh, he is going to be starting with a wizard, which is interesting. And he did not go for the wall of fire. Okay, so we want the top path upgrade. I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, okay, so wizard. He has smudge cats as his hero, Smudge Katazili, which is a pretty good late game tower there. Uh, he's still going to leak a handful of lives. So with that said, let me go ahead. I'm going to get my boomerang down. So I like to stick my boomerang like right here on this map. And then I just set him to the last. Seems to work out OK for me. Uh, I do still go for the top path, though. We're going to go top path. We're going to go for our glaives. Perfect. And I should be setting uh, blues here next. All right. So this this map is actually pretty tough. Uh, what is it called? Gardens, I think. Uh, but we can definitely still make it work. What we're going to end up needing to do is I might clear this middle thing here. I'm not 100% sure. I don't like to clear it if I don't absolutely have to. Uh, but I do like to put my ice monkey like right here. And I go for the icicles just because he can shoot from the left and to the right, which is like really, really beneficial. I don't really want him in the back too far here, though, which is kind of not ideal. Uh, he is trying to greed for his farm, so he might be struggling a little bit over there. Uh, let me try to send a couple of whites his way, and then we can maybe even maybe tower boost this. Potentially. I'm not. I'm sorry, not tower boost, but we can maybe go for a balloon boost if we can get some whites through. Uh, he might end up going for a middle path on that wizard, though. Yeah, I think he's doing okay. So let me actually do this. I was not paying attention to my side there at all. Okay, so I'm going to send some black balloons here next. Uh, we did leave quite a bit of lives, which kind of sucked. But we should be okay for the time being. And then as soon as the next round comes, we're going to go ahead. We're going to send our grouped yellow balloons. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get any yellows past him. We're definitely forcing a lot of upgrades on his side. He's putting a ton of wizards down. He's got four wizards down on the map currently. Oh, he might be dead here. Oh, no, he went for that. Okay, okay, okay. Well played, sir. Well played. All right, so we are in round 13. I'm kind of debating if I want to rush my opponent here or not. Uh, I don't know if I'm either going to play this safe or if we're going to go for the kill. Not 100% sure what I want to do. Let me see if I can get a tower boost out of him, maybe. So... I 
Get the tower boost. Get the tower boost. Oh, he's dead. Bloom boost that. GG's, buddy. GG's. No stopping the epic heart rush there, bro. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. That's three in a row. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Buddy. Oh, I didn't talk at all during that game, but that was a four straight win for us. Let's go. He tried to all out me with hearts there, and uh, we didn't. We, we did have enough for the Maelstrom, so I used the Maelstrom, used my level three ability with Gwendolyn, and I just deleted my Mortar just so I would have a little bit extra money because when I bought the Maelstrom, I didn't have any money left. Just deleted the Mortar right away and then just re rushed him like immediately after. All right, boys. So that was four wins in a row. I know I didn't do too much talking with that. I was trying to stay a little bit more focused on uh, the games, but this is the strategy that I've been using, and it has carried me literally all the way up here to 93 uh, trophy. So I'm going to be doing the best that I possibly can, trying really, really hard hard to get up into the hall of masters i've not gotten to hall of masters yet the most amount of trophies i've ever had was 95 uh, so uh, yeah that is gonna be my plan here going forward so if you guys did like the video go ahead hit that like button if you guys really liked it go ahead hit that subscribe button if you've used this strategy before or one similar please let me know in the comments down below i know gwendolyn and the attack shooters are really really common like meta tower and hero so i'm sure a lot of you guys out there do use at least one of the two and then lastly as well like i said if you guys do want to join into the clan you guys have one day and five hours currently um to request to join in the clan because once the clan war actually starts i cannot accept more like people to be in it you have to wait until the war ends so try to request as soon as you can and like i said just leave a comment down below if you do request to be in and all i'm looking for is just people that play literally that's it just play the games don't care if you win don't care if you lose right so with that said thanks a lot for watching guys and i will catch you in the next one